All life on earth appear to share a common ancestry. This means that among human beings and millions of species of animals, insects and microorganisms, there is a common thread that connects us all. The evolution of life is governed by a common set of principles. Evolutionary biology aims to unravel these principles and the evolutionary process that resulted in the diversity of life on earth. Evolutionary biology is a branch of biology that covers a very wide range of disciplines. But the basic question that we're trying to address in evolutionary biology is how did the amazing diversity of species evolve? On Earth there are millions of species, plant species, animal species, but also um, viruses, bacteria, things that we don't necessarily think of immediately. And we now know that these species weren't always around, but that they have evolved and that this evolutionary process has taken millions of years. Due to human activity, planet Earth is on the brink of a mass extinction. With the destruction of habitats such as the rainforest and coral reefs, a large number of plants, mammals, birds, amphibians, reptiles and many others are expected to become extinct. We as humans are faced with what we call the sixth extinction and many plant and animal species are threatened to go extinct over the next few decades. By understanding how these species have survived in the past and how they've adapted to changing climates in the past, we might be able to do something about this sixth extinction. One of the hallmarks at UKZN is the Biology Department. Our department is made up of internationally renowned scientists who continue to do rigorous research in the field. At UKZN, we aim to foster a supportive and powerful environment for learning. So one of the two major courses we offer in the first year, called uh, Life on Earth, covers all the major groups of species, when these groups evolved and how they have evolved. In second year, we carry on um, by zooming in on some of these groups in more detail, learning about their diversity and how they evolve. And then finally, in third year, we offer an in-depth course in evolutionary biology called Evolution and Systematics in which we cover a wide range of areas that are important in evolutionary biology, including genetics, but also look at fossil history, for instance, and how we study the relationships between species. Hi, my name is Simangele Msueli. I'm doing my Master of Science in Biological Sciences here at the University of KwaZulu Natal. My experience at UKZN has been amazing. Um, I'll say I was very lucky because most of my lecturers really loved their work. They was really patient. They could really put you into the situation and you understand it. So that learning experience between uh, the lecturers and myself and also the food part of it really, really made my, my experience here worthwhile and I learned a lot I could say. When you study evolutionary biology you could for instance work at a natural history museum. These museums are places where historical collections of plants and animals are stored and right now we are sitting in the herbarium or the plant collection of the University of Kozulu Natal. This is one of the largest herbariums in South Africa and contains a very important historical and current collection of plant specimens uh, that are collected in the region around us, for instance in the Drakensberg Mountains, which is one of the biodiversity hotspots of South Africa. If you want to understand why the HIV virus cannot be completely exterminated, um, it is important to understand evolutionary biology because this can explain how viruses can adapt to medication and how we need to keep on studying the way the virus evolves to fight it. To study evolutionary biology at UKZN, a minimum APS score of 28 points is required with maths, English, life orientation and either physics, life sciences or agricultural sciences. Visit our website for more information.